Okay, this is mainly for Jalen. Hi, Jalen. Uh, making a tutorial on how to do exporting animation, bring it into Unreal, because I forgot about how to do it last time. And I might be busy doing special effects stuff, so I might not be able to help you directly with figuring this out. Um, so, what I have learned is it's a little different than what we initially had. The initial setup was we were going to just bring in animation, um, which is these green ones here. And we were going to tie them to the pre-existing characters in this characters file. But these characters are outdated, essentially. And when we try to import the animation, it's not working. So um, I need to do something else. So for example, uh, I'm going to show you, there's sort of two steps. There's like the first time that you import something, it's going to be the character and animation. And then every time after that, it's just going to be animation for that character. So for example, in this scene right here, I have Lizzo selected. Uh, very, very specifically, you only want to grab the fit skeleton, the motion system. No. Whoa. Fit skeleton, deformation system, and geometry. Those are the three things you want to grab. And I'm going to export selection. The two things important in here, you want to make sure animation is checked and bake animation is checked. I'm going to name this uh, just Lizzo. I did this earlier, but I did it wrong, so I'm going to replace it. Um, just Lizzo because this is going to become the like actual skeletal mesh and skeleton. So I'm going to export that, and I'm going to replace the old one. Uh, this is going to bake out all the animation now, so it's going to take a while. So I'm going to go back into Unreal. Um, so I've already brought in bin um i don't think we can bring in rory yet because the rig needs to be fixed still um and the ringmaster is slightly different but so for example although it looks really weird there's finn skeleton uh physics asset actually um and animation um i don't know why there's a physics asset with this one i don't think there was with the other one but maybe there was uh and skeletal mesh so you get like the skeletal mesh physics asset and skeleton and then since we baked animation it brings the first like sequence into this you know or shot or whatever you want to call it um so there it is right here this is the first one i brought in like a turnstile one perfect great um looks good and then so yeah that's what we're gonna get and these are gonna replace the character stuff in this character folder so literally all of this could probably be deleted, but I'm just going to throw it in a folder right now because I'm scared of deleting stuff because first recording I did of this, I deleted something and it nearly crashed Unreal Engine. So yeah. Um, also, just to show you, this is still baking animation, so that does take a while. So something to keep in mind is like we probably do want to get started on this sooner than later because just the baking, the animation alone, takes a few minutes um and i guess moving these files in unreal it does too because now i'm getting the spinning circle of death um but so after well i'm not gonna go after uh you're just gonna have to sit in awkward silence for a second as this saves um so this just finished you'll get this i think this is this is cool we're fine um, so we got that stuff off of Lizzo and the whole character and everything, and we're ready to go back to Unreal Engine. If Unreal Engine is ready for us, it is saving crap. I tried to make a fast tutorial, but of course I had to move a file, and now everything's going in hyper slow motion. Um, the next thing you're going to do is um, to import just animation. Uh, this is a different scene here. So for example... Let's say I want um, animation off Lizzo. We just got the character and the animation from that shot or whatever, that scene. Uh, now I want animation from this scene for Lizzo. I'm going to go in this drop down. The only things you want to grab is the deformation system and the fit skeleton. You don't want to grab geometry or any, any of the other stuff. And then you're going to go export selection. And again, animation, bake animation. Uh, I'll call this Lizzo. Uh, s1 s4 and also i am just testing all this out right now so i haven't organized it in unreal yet um sorry uh but yeah so like for example 
the character stuff that we're getting out of this is going to need to go into these character folders. Um, so I'm going to go back into animation sequence one, shot four, whatever. So here's this stuff. This is the first round I did with Finn. And you see I have all that stuff and then an individual animation sequence as well. So I'm going to bring Lizzo in. This is sort of the next step. A uh, really important thing here, most important thing almost, hit this arrow. You want the skeleton to be none because then it's going to generate its own skeleton and stuff in Unreal for this character, and it will use that for the rest of this stuff. Everything else should be fine. I'm going to hit import all, and we're going to hopefully uh, get all of the same bits and pieces I got for Finn. And then, hopefully while this goes, uh, this, nope, this one, we'll finish baking this animation and then I can pull in animation. So yeah, I know it's a little bit complicated and it's hard because I'm trying to talk through it while it's doing all this crap. Oh, here's an issue. I didn't disable the materials in the import screen. So all of these really stupid Lamberts came in. Uh, I'm just gonna kill these. Uh, maybe that's gonna take 10 years. Nope, we're good. But as you can see, we got Lizzo Skeletal Mesh, Lizzo Anim. Uh, this will need to be renamed to whatever sequence it was or whatever. Uh, but then Physics Asset and Skeleton. All the skeletons are doing this weird thing. I don't think it matters, but I could be wrong. Uh, and of course, if you open up the animation, it's not working. Okay, I'm going to see if the other animation I baked works. Um, this is probably an issue, but I had this, all of this popped up when I did fins, but fins actually is working like I showed you earlier. Uh, and then this is the second thing I uploaded of fins, which also just works perfectly. Um, let me import the other animation of Lizzo's, this guy right here. Um, I should be able to, now that the Lizzo skeleton exists, just go and click on Lizzo skeleton. Um, and I will this time, well, I don't need to disable materials because there aren't any on this because it's just animation data. But I'm bringing that in now and hopefully this one will work. I don't know why the first one didn't work. I don't know if I had something incorrectly selected or what. Um, I don't know, actually. Not the best tutorial. Sorry, I'm making this sort of... Oh, look at this. Less errors. Um, so here's that animation sequence. Oh, and this one did work. Yeah, so like, maybe I just had something <laughs> selected wrong for this other one, Lizzo Anim. Um, I honestly... Wait. Uh. Oh, that's why. Lizzo's not moving in this scene. Okay, so nothing worked. Nothing went wrong. That's actually exactly right. This animation is of Lizzo staying still for 200 frames. So it actually did work. Uh, it's just brain dead because that's not real animation. So I'm just going to bring and delete that. Um, but yeah, so that's the sort of... That's how this is going to work. Um, all of these pieces though like skeleton physics asset skeletal whatever those need to move into the character files and then the animation needs to be moved where it needs to go but that's how it's working right now the ringmaster is different so don't worry about that right now um but this should be a good start uh yeah hope this helps